you you gotta see this this is turning out so cool check that out how sweet is that so sticker <laughs> stick around <coughs> sticker <coughs> stick around because i'll show you how i did that and the what you what you want what you what you want Let's talk about this roof thing uh, real quick. Just for a moment, I'll show you what I did. I'll tell you what I did. I just drew these out, then uh, burned into it with uh, soldering iron to get this stuff down in here. And then I used the rasp and thinned out these areas, kind of like what I did with the siding. Uh, it kind of gives this old lapped look. And I need to do it to the other one and the one on top. But that's exactly how I'm going to do it to the other two. We're getting close. Well, hi do. Uh, let me show you something else that uh, I think is kind of cool. And it's easy to do. It's putting a wood grain on foam or making foam look like weathered old wood. Let me show you uh, what it looks like. So that right there, that is a pretty decent, that's a pretty decent weathered texture that looks like wood it looks like wood grain i mean so literally that really does look like uh wood grain weathered wood grain pretty happy with it i don't know how to read from far away uh but up close it reads great but let me show you i'll show you how i did this it's super all you need is this right here it's a little old wire brush this takes no skill this takes absolutely no talent but it's super super easy just taking the brush, digging down in, and then pulling straight back. And it starts leaving you a texture like that. And then you can work, you can come back this direction too to make it even more rough. You know, you can work your ends over to where they really they really start to look weathered. However much you want to rake back and forth on this thing to create detail. Thought you guys might like that. Finally, we can start painting this thing. So I broke the top part all down because uh, I had sprayed uh, great stuff on some of these smaller ones. I needed to shave that off so it all match up. But while it's apart, I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage so I can spray, you know, kind of the bottom sides of all this and then start painting it and then I'll flip it back up. But yeah, let's paint this thing. Look here, it's all, all based out in black. It's kind of cool looking, you know, it's something that kind of shown through or whatever. There's a part of me that's just like thinking that that could just stay black. But however, I'm not gonna leave it black. So uh, I think now I've got some white 
And I'm going to dry brush on some white onto it all over the place. Because, uh, you know, them old houses, most of the time they're painted white and then they're decrepit or whatever. So I'm going to go with that and maybe do some weathering on it too. I don't know. I'm running out of time. It took me all day yesterday to get all this stuff uh, <clears throat> based in black and a little bit of this morning. So, yeah, we're already into October now. I'm usually putting stuff up in the yard by now. And uh, so far, I'm not. Awesome things just seem to happen all the time. I had a bucket over here. I stepped on the bucket. The bucket moved. And then, boom. Foot right through the wall. All the way through the wall. So I came around on this side. Put another piece of foam. Glued that into place. Put some toothpicks. Set it up. You know, that's good. And now I'll come back in on this side. And I'm going to put some black paint in all these areas down here. And then re-dry brush it. And leave it as a broken piece of wood. So what felt like a catastrophic moment at one point in time, as it happened, uh, just to turn into a little more detail for this old rickety house. I went with a red color because I'm going to paint the door up front red too. So I thought red top, red door on the bottom. Cool, creepy, I don't know, whatever, different. But I'm so, so close to having this thing out front. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so cool. Look at this thing. <laughs> this, this whole, this whole thing. This, this thing's coming along pretty sweet. I mean, <clears throat> by no means is this the best facade that's out there that anybody's ever made. Uh, because there's plenty out there that have made way better quality stuff than what I'm doing. However, that looks pretty cool, you know. And for, I started this. Uh, four weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago, something like that. Um, really moved along pretty quick. I'm putting the finishing details on this stuff here, and then I can move it outside and then um, put my door and all that stuff on. But a little while ago, I was talking about these deals here. Don't know what to call them or whatever, but they're accents, whatever. Uh, but these, I have to have them, rem the whole thing, here's the deal. I don't got much space around here either. So everything has to come apart and it has to be able to store. The only thing I really screwed up on is the roof. I should have made these panels even come apart and separate into three different pieces. And that probably, those little ones probably should have separated into two different pieces. Uh, but I didn't do that. So these are going to be a pain in the store. But these are all removable, so I'll show you, you know, what I did so I can take these off. Because I want all the panels, because this panel will be by itself, and I want it to lay against another panel. I won't be able to do that if I got stuff like this stuck to it. So I took these and made these, painted them, and then I cut this off on the back side because I'm going to try to put some lighting in behind here. But anyway, I just drilled some holes. I, I measured all this stuff out and then drilled a couple holes so I can put... You know this underneath and i'm just screwing it in uh, with some screws to hold it into place that isn't the most uh, technical way to do things but uh it's gonna work ah, i just can't get over the way that looks it's gonna be cool all right i'm gonna give another shout out to uh hollywood hunter back when they built that crazy big awesome haunted house facade for the TV show, um, they put some lights and stuff up on uh, the eaves and shine down on the house, which looked pretty cool. So I'm going to 
I'm basically doing the same idea. I'm gonna put some uh, lights up in there like I talked about. And what I did is I got these LED, this is a 12 foot light strip. And then they got these kind of neat connectors uh, where you can cut and pin and go around corners or whatever. But these are pretty short. And so I'm wanting to do these um, on each section, right? So we've got the two lower sections and, and the higher section, all that stuff comes apart. So I'm gonna play around with these because this isn't long enough uh, to be able to separate those sections. So I'm gonna cut these apart and see if I can use some stat wire uh, to extend these and make it still work. Um, this wasn't very expensive. I think it was like 20 bucks, something like that. So if I ruin them, whatever. But we're gonna give it a try. All right, so uh, yeah, that worked. I was able to extend that wiring on that and it works. So. Um, uh, here, let's just, I'll show you what I did. You know that there's a whole, there's a whole lot of me saying that over and over again. Uh, I'll show you what I did, but <laughs> I'll show you what I did. <laughs> All right. So that LED track, it actually, here's one point comes out and then it runs along back here. I, I put this piece of trim up to glue the LED to it. So it shines this way against this. And so hopefully it illuminates and you don't see the lights themselves. I kind of wanted to hide those. I did the same thing here. I did the same thing over there. And I think I'm leaving this black. I was going to do a little white on it too. But the more I look at it, uh, the more I like it. So I'm probably going to leave it like that. The painting's all done. Uh, I'm digging it, man. It looks really cool i really really like the way it's turned out we even did i blacked out the back side of this i blacked out the back side of that so all the paint's done yay uh right now once again hey it's that time i want a special thanks to all those patrons you guys are freaking awesome and you know what i just i want to thank all you guys for taking the time just to watch you know uh, watch me be an idiot and do things like this it's uh it's cool you take time out of your day to do that but anyway there she is she's all painted up uh join back next week when uh, i take this out to the front yard we try to get it set up that's going to be an adventure in itself till next time keep making something for enough.